One of the most intriguing exoplanet discoveries to date, Proxima b, was made six years ago. It's a solid planet about the size of Proxima Centauri, the Sun's nearest neighbor, which orbits the Earth. The planet is situated in the Goldilocks zone of its solar system, which refers to the point where it is neither too distant from nor too close to its host star, which provides the perfect environment for life. It orbits Proxima Centauri, the star closest to Earth, and is an astounding 40 trillion kilometers or 4.25 light years away. However, NASA stated earlier this year that the planet is routinely subjected to intense radiation, rendering it incapable of supporting water and obliterating any prospects of finding extraterrestrial life there. Could this planet actually have extraterrestrial life? What effect does this have on our quest to find a new planet to call home? Let's find out. Since its discovery was reported in August 2016, Proxima b has generated a lot of interest among astronomers and astrobiologists. An older spectrograph called HARPS, High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, that is mounted on a scope at ESO's La Silla Observatory in Chile, initially discovered Proxima b years ago. But with these more recent measurements, researchers now have an updated, incredibly accurate picture of the exoplanet. Three years after the discovery of Proxima b, scientists announced the discovery of Proxima c, a candidate for a second planet in the system which is at least six times as big as Earth. Since Proxima c takes 5.2 years to complete one circle around the hypothetical planet, which is far smaller and fainter than the Sun, it is most likely too frigid to support life as we know it on its surface, so according to experts, Proxima b is still our best bet. The planet's small mass increase over Earth indicates that it is likely a rocky planet. The region of distances McGregor referred to as hosting liquid water is where Proxima b appears to orbit its host star. In a recent study, an international team of experts discovered that Proxima b's minimum potential mass, which is only 4.2 light years away from Earth, is only 17% more massive than our planet. Because the planet orbits its star precisely in the middle of the habitable zone, it is possible that liquid water and possibly even life could exist there. Due to its similar mass to Earth, Proxima b may be both a rocky terrestrial planet like Earth and have liquid water. However, according to a statement from the space agency, scientists believe that Proxima b is subjected to torrents of X-ray and intense ultraviolet radiation from superflares occurring roughly once every two hours. In order to determine how the climate would behave if the planet were tidally locked, they also examined the consequences of an orbit similar to Mercury, which rotates three times on its axis for every two cycles around the Sun, a 3 to 2 resonance. In 2016, the news was dominated by the finding of this Earth-like planet in the Alpha Centauri system, which is also our nearby solar system. The planet's location in the star's habitable zone is the most intriguing aspect of this discovery. The Alpha Centauri system's Proxima b planet orbits the Proxima Centauri star. Three stars, Alpha Centauri a, b, and c, together known as Proxima Centauri, make up the triple star system known as Alpha Centauri. The region surrounding a star that is neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface of neighboring planets is known as the habitable zone, commonly referred to as the Goldilocks zone. There may be a chance for extraterrestrial life in Proxima b because the evolution of life on Earth took place in the ocean. Proxima b is a good candidate to look for extraterrestrial intelligence because of this. Proxima b is 38 degrees colder than Earth, where the balanced temperature is 0 degrees Fahrenheit, with a temperature of negative 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Too cold, right? Proxima b consistently presents the same face to its star, which is comparable to the situation between the Moon and Earth, where the Moon consistently presents the same face to Earth. This means it's tidally locked. A tidally locked planet's side-facing light has a region that reaches boiling point and continuously produces a hurricane, which is an intriguing feature. As a result, it appears that there is a small area on the planet where life, if it is feasible, may exist. Some scientists believe that the thick atmospheres of tidally locked planets likely disperse heat around them, making at least some areas of these worlds habitable. The day and night are not times, but rather geographical locations because it constantly faces the same side towards its star. 
This means that unless there is more water than there is on Earth, the light side would always be dry and the dark side might include ice blocks. However, there is still a chance for life since the bulk of ice on the cold side would periodically change the temperature so that the light side may still experience wet periods. The Sun and Proxima Centauri are roughly the same age, but Proxima Centauri will continue to shine for billions of years after the Sun is extinguished since it is a red dwarf star in its first generation. Another issue with Proxima b and its relative's habitability is stellar outbursts. Although Proxima b is in the star's habitable zone, its placement is different from the Sun's. For a planet to be in the habitable zone, it must be ten times closer to its star. They are now vulnerable to harm from solar storms and flares. Periodically, tremendous X-rays with an intensity 4,000 times greater than that of the Sun are released by red dwarf stars. If this existed, it might obliterate the entire population. In 2020, Espresso made measurements that established the existence of Proxima b and the first indications of a potential third planet in the Proxima Centauri system. Follow-up observations taken by Faria and his team subsequently revealed that a new signal is being produced by a planet rather than other elements like changeable star activity. Using the radial velocity method, Espresso identifies planets by observing the tiny jerks in a star's motion brought on by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These pulls were incredibly light in the case of Proxima d, equivalent to a planet with a minimum mass of one-fourth that of Earth. In the latest analysis which was released online in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, the researchers claimed that Proxima d would become the lightest planet ever discovered using the radial velocity approach. In the same announcement, study co-author Pedro Figuera, the Espresso Instruments scientist at ESO Chile, remarked, This achievement is tremendously important. It demonstrates that using the radial velocity approach could reveal a population of light planets similar to our own. This outcome amply demonstrates what Espresso is capable of and makes me ponder what it might discover in the future," Faria continued. In the simulation, it is presumptively assumed that Proxima Centauri b has no magnetic field. The particles from the coronal mass ejection may be directed by such a shield towards the poles, causing the aura to form as it does on Earth and reducing the damage to the atmosphere. Seeing as Proxima Centauri b, on the other hand, is probably in tidal lock with the star given its near orbit, just the way the Moon is with the Earth, the slower rotation makes it more difficult to generate a magnetic dynamo inside the planet. Also, without an ozone layer, Proxima Centauri b's surface would no longer be protected from UV rays. Without the ozone layer, it would take 65 times more radiation to kill 90% of one of the most UV-resistant animals on Earth during the Proxima super flare. Life would have to suffer extreme UV adaption or live below or beneath water, according to Howard. On the surface, this habitat could only support the hardiest organisms. Some characteristics of Proxima b and its star are necessary for the existence of life on the planet. Looking closely at these features, though, it would appear that the dangers of life outweigh the chance of it being in Proxima Centauri. Does Proxima b have a population of highly resilient UV creatures if the shields are reduced there? Or have there been any indications that this star has snuffed out life instead of warming the Earth to enable it to exist? In the future decades, scientists will be able to watch the planet and further explore the possibility of life on it, thanks to the operation of the planned James Webb Telescope extremely large telescope and giant Magellanic telescope, along with more space and ground-based telescopes. It might provide an answer to humanity's fundamental question, are we alone? So let's eagerly await the response. What do you think? Could there be life on this Earth-like planet? Comment below.